MLB The Show 17 is finally here, and we are going to be hopping straight into Road to the Show this year. Every year we do a Road to the Show. Usually I'm like, well, you know, when Franchise comes out, we're going to try to do every other day with the post. But this time, like I mentioned in the update video when I did come back from my break, I just said that when the franchise starts, we're just going to, you know, post this when we feel like it. But as for now, this is the main series on this channel until the franchise starts up. So, Jay Niles Road to the Show. Jay Niles is a character from the movie Everybody Wants Some, two exclamation points. It is a Richard Linklater film. He was the guy who made Dazed and Confused, which is my all-time favorite movie. So if you guys like that movie, you will definitely like Everybody Wants Some, especially if you're also a baseball fan, because the movie is about a college baseball team in the 80s in, I believe, Texas, in, like, mid-Texas, central Texas, somewhere around there. And, uh... Jay Niles is a pitcher, and he's a psycho. He's an awesome character, so I decided I wanted to do my road of the show about him. And uh, he's from Detroit, Michigan. They say that in the show. He's a transfer from Detroit, Michigan. So, let's get some more background on Jay Niles before we go any further on this. Yeah, so as you can see, Jay Niles is quite the psycho, as you can tell by that clip. And here you see we're going to be using the Tom Seaver windup, as that's... Uh, Kind of what he was using. There's a batting practice scene in the movie where they show, like, what he, uh, how his windup is. And that's pretty much the closest thing to it. It's like an old school over the head type thing. And like I said, the movie was early 80s. Might have been 1980. Uh, early 80s, I know that for sure. So, uh, baseball was a bit different back then. Pitching windups were different. Batting stances were different. Here you see we're just going through his appearance and everything. He's got the classic long hair. He has a more of a, uh, he has more bangs in the movie, but there there isn't any uh, hairstyle that has bangs that's like his hairstyle. So I just went with the retro, because it's close enough, and you can't really tell with the hat on anyways. And then he's got the glasses, because he has the glasses, obviously. And uh, he's wearing high stirrups, because it's the 80s, and uh, why the hell not? No undersleeves. He's got really short sleeves, too, and it's just going to be awesome. So let's hop straight into the prospect games. And here we are for game one of the prospect scouting games, whatever you want to call them, here in Baseball City, Florida. You can see Jay Niles in the back there, listening to the instruction from the coach. Well, another more information about Jay Niles is uh, they call him Raw Dog. Well, he calls himself Raw Dog because he's a, like I said, he's a crazy guy. He's real intense. He's real cocky. So I didn't show any of this video, but uh, as we go on through the uh, options this year, where you can like do the whole ro role playing thing with the whole pave your path. You'll see I'm going to be choosing more of the cocky options, because, well, he's the raw dog. As you see, we get through the first two batters there pretty easily, and then the third one, we get him out on the fastball up and in. He sits down, we get through the first inning, no problemo. On to the second inning now, and we get a left-handed batter at the plate with his classic Tom Seaver over the head windup, and he is going to jack this one over the left field fence because we hung a changeup right over the plate, and he makes us pay for it. So they get on the board... No big deal, though, as we'll bounce right back, but not right away, because this next guy who comes up, 0-1 count, he's going to hit this one right back up the middle. Second baseman can't get that just out of his reach, and it's going to be a single for the West. Yes, the West team, as they're up 1-0 after the solo shot, so nobody at one on, and it's going to be a pop-up to the infield. Niles pulling a page out of Phil Coke's playbook with the point to the sky, and it's going to be caught by the first baseman, who also has some high stirrups and a pretty solid beard, if I do say so myself. Here comes another high stirrups guy to the plate, one on, one out. He's going to go down on the fastball, down in the strike zone, ran it away from him. Look at his flow, his beard. That is a great player model right there. Lots of flow in this year's game. Lots of new hairstyles, beard styles, all that type of jazz. And then we strike this guy out for out number three of the inning. So at the end of two, we've only allowed one run on that solo shot. And then in the... And then the top half of the third, we got ourselves uh, two runs, so it's a 2-1 lead, and then Niall strikes at the first batter, and we get the, why you have to be med? That was a horrible Burzgal impersonation, but we get the Burzgal of uh, trophy there, because we strike him out looking, and he's all pissed. So then we, for the second out, we get a pop-up into the foul territory third base side. Third baseman squeezes that one, and then with two outs... We have a batter come up, and he gets hit in the knee by the changeup. Changeup got away from him. Really, the only thing that was working in this game was the fastball, the uh, changeup, and sweeping curve that I'm using didn't really uh, do much, as then we get the final out of the inning as a pop-up to left field on a can of corn for him. 
And then that would wrap things up for that game, as there you see Jay Niles' final stats for the game. Three innings pitched, two hits, and four strikeouts. Now let's move on to game number two here against the Eastern team. Top half of the first inning as the first batter, leadoff batter of the game, is going to decide to pop things up on the first pitch to right field. You're the leadoff guy. Come on. Come on, guy. You can be better than that. So then with one out, we've got a one-two count, and Niles has the curveball working. He was feeling his curve and his changeup a lot more this game, rather than just having to rely on the overpowering fastball that he had in the first game. And now, but they do slap one into left field in front of the fi left fielder for a little single there. And then with one out, with two outs and runner on first, it's going to be a little chopper down the first baseline. First baseman will field it and then tag the runner out, so we get out of the first inning without allowing any runs and only one hit. Move on to the top half of the second. One two count on this guy as the wind up from Niles gets him look, gets him to go down swinging. Runs, the, I believe that's a changeup away from him, and now O2 count with one out. Open stance lefty here as we run the changeup away from him. Strike three, back-to-back -back strikeouts for Raw Dog. And now we've got two outs. Top half of the second, two outs. And it's going to be pulled into left field, but it's going to be a can of corn for the left fielder out there. And that is the final out of the inning. Move on to the top half of the third. 2-2 two -two count. First batter goes down, swinging, ran the fastball up and in on him. He can't catch up. He can't make contact. He goes down, swinging, sit down. And now 1-0 count with one out, nobody on. And this guy's going to chop it down the third baseline. And this is an oops, I accidentally have analog throwing still on. So <laughs> we throw the wrong base. He gets on first. And then he has blazing speed, so he goes down and swipes second. And Niles has got himself in a bit of a bit of trouble after he allowed that. Uh, base hit and then this guy's gonna slap one into left field the speedy guy is gonna score because the left fielder does not have a cannon and now we've got ourselves an 80 something speed guy on first base and it's a one run crosses the plate we still haven't scored in the game yet and now this guy is also gonna steal second base so we've got ourselves second runner on second one out 1-0 count to this guy. He's going to chop it right back to me. I'm going to have a delayed reaction to it because I didn't realize what happened. And he throws it over to first late. The guy gets a base hit. So runners on the corners with one out. Niles in some more trouble. And this guy is going to rip one down the left field line past the third baseman. Left fielder has to field it on the run. So one run does come in. And he moves over to second. And we have ourselves a second and third with one out situation now. Niles in even more trouble now that they're down 2 nothing. Thing. But then with one out, he starts putting it together. Gets this guy to go down looking on the sweeping curve. Getting that pitch worked in here in this jam. So second on third still, obviously, is with two outs. He gets a grant at the second. The jump throw to first. And that's the final out of the inning. As Jay Niles once again goes through three. He gives up two runs this time in three innings. Five hitch, five strikeouts. And then here you see round three, pick 14, is where Jay Niles goes in the draft to the Miami Marlins. So... There you see, we get drafted by the Marlins, and next episode, we will be starting out with his first career start and probably a couple other starts as well with the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp in the AA, their AA affiliates down in, I'm not sure what the league, Southern League, I'm not sure. But with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this first edition of the J. Niles Road to the Show. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye.